Hey students, this is lesson 412, part A. We're going to learn how to simplify negative exponents. And to do that, I'm just going to give you a, uh, a little bit of a discovery lesson here. So just try and follow along with what I'm doing. So we know how to deal with exponents like this, 2 to the fifth. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. And 2 to the 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. 2 to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And if you notice here, every time I decrease this exponent by 1, I am dividing by 2, my last answer. So the effect of subtracting 1 from the exponent is dividing by that base, which is 2. So if I want to go ahead and do a couple more of these really quickly, and notice I'm following this pattern where the exponent, exponent keeps decreasing by 1. So what I need to do is just keep dividing my last answer by 8, or by 2, by the base. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5, or as a fraction, is 1 half. Uh, 1 half divided by 2, half of a half, basically is what I'm saying is 1 to 4, or 0.25 as a decimal. And uh, if I divide that by 2, I get 1 eighth. Well, if you look closely here, you might notice that when I did 2 to the negative first, it is the reciprocal of 2 to the first. In other words, the denominator in the fraction, the numerator is 1 in all these fractions, but the denominator is the same as what I get when I do 2 to the first right here. So, uh, and that's, how, that's true for all of these. So, 2 to the negative second is 1 fourth, and the denominator here is the same as... 2 to the second. So, um, so what we're what we're finding out is there's a way we can deal with with uh, negative exponents. Um, notice that the fraction is just one over what that same number is with a positive exponent. So, 2 to the third is 8. 2 to the negative third is 1 8. So, think about that. What would 2 to the negative fourth be? And uh, I hope you're thinking that it's 1 to the 16th, right? So this number right here in the denominator is 2 to the 1st in that case, 2 to the 2nd in this case, 2 to the 3rd in this one, and 2 to the 4th in this one. Um, so uh, that brings me to a way to deal with negative exponents. Actually, let's look at the... Let's look at the thing and discuss to kind of do that same thing with a different base. So um, if we follow this pattern, we're going one half or one twenty-seventh, then one ninth, then one third, then one, then three, then nine, then twenty-seven. Um, you might notice that we keep multiplying by three. So the next number. So what number would follow twenty-seven? If the pattern continues, we would just multiply 27 times 3. And that equals 81. So the next number after this would be 81. And then what number would proceed 127? Well, notice that uh, the denominators here are multiplying by 3 as I go this way. So the numerator is always 1. I could just take 27 times 3, which is we just found out is 81, and put that there. Okay. So it says write 27, 9, and 3 using integer exponents in the same base. 27 is multiplied by 3 3 times. So 
27 is 3 to the third. 9 is multiplying by 3 twice. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 is just multiplying by 3 one time, which is 3 to the first. Okay? And then it says, assume the pattern in the exponential forms that you just wrote continues with the other numbers in the above list. Use the pattern to write the exponential forms of 1, 1 third, 1 ninth, and so on. So 27 right here is 3 to the third. 9 is 3 to the second. 3 is 3 to the first. So if I follow that pattern, 1 must be 3 to the 0. And then going backwards, 1 third must be 3 to the negative first because the exponents are decreasing by 1. And 1 ninth must be 3 to the negative second. And 127 must be 3 to the negative third. And 181st must be 3 to the negative fourth. And uh, you can check that on your calculator. You can do negative exponents. So, and let's just check our calculator. You can use your calculator to check your answers. Like if I want to do 3 to the negative first power, I just do 3 care negative four, and I get that decimal number. But um, that decimal number, uh, I can change to fraction by pressing the math button, and number one, and then turning it into a fraction, and we see that it's 181st. Um, now your, your power button will only give you fractions to so big, so you gotta be careful about that. You actually have to know how these work. All right, so let's do a couple examples. What we found out is that any number with a negative exponent is equal to 1 over the number with the positive exponent. And another way I can think about that is um, it's just 1 over the base to that power with the positive. And that's what it says down here. Um, and we also found out that any number to the 0 power will be 1. Remember, 2 to the 0 is 1, and so is 3 to the 0. So any number to the 0 power is 1. So let's evaluate these expressions. So 3 to the negative 4th, we're going to do by just doing 1 over 3 to the positive 4th. And then we're going to simplify 3 to the 4th, the denominator. 3 to the 4th is 1. 6 to the negative 4th is 1 over 6 to the positive 4th. And I'm going to need my calculator to do 6 to the 4. That's 1,020. 1,296. So uh, to get rid of this exponent here in the denominator, I'm going to write 1,296. So that's my answer to that one. Negative 7 to the negative 8 is equal to 1 over the base. Now here you got to be careful, the base is actually negative 7. So we got to keep that, and we're going to do positive 8 power. And when you do that on your calculator, you're going to put negative 7 in parentheses, and then raise that to the 8th power. It would be a pretty big number, 5,764,801. And that's your denominator, put that over 1. All right? Um, don't do any of these examples for us. I'm going to give you just a couple more examples of different types of problems that you may run into. First of all, I want to do 1 to the 0 power, so I'm going to make kind of a crazy one here. Uh, 2,538 to the 0 power. Well, remember, anything to the 0 problem power is just 1. And if you want to check that, go ahead. 2,538 to the 0 power 1. All right. And then one last example you can write down here. Uh, what if I have negative 5 to the negative 4 power? Well, in this, because there is no parentheses here on this negative 5, it's the base isn't negative 5. The base is actually 5. I'm going to do negative, and then I'm going to get rid of this negative exponent right here by doing 1 over 5 to the positive 4. And that's equal to negative 1. So our fraction is negative. That was the 
that's what this negative outside here without parentheses caused. And uh, I'm going to use my calculator to find out what 5 to the fourth is. 6.25. And just to check and see if my work is correct, I'll do 5 to the, I'll do that on my calculator and see if it agrees with me. Negative 5 raised to the negative fourth power. Enter. And then change it to a fraction by pressing math, number 1. Enter. Negative 1 over 625. All right, that's it for part A. Um, we'll practice that in class, and uh, we'll see you next time we meet.